You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. I'm here today with Diane Dubois, who's Michelle Dubois, state representative's mother. Now, I've known Diane a long time. Diane is a wonderful lady who loves veterans. Well, thank you. And really works hard to help them. Right. We had Gail on before. Mm -hmm. And Gail's behind us, too. And this exactly. is a wonderful event. I'm just going to hold this up for one second and show this poster next to my face. This is a beautiful poster for an event that the VFW and the Auxiliary are working on together. Exactly. Over at Post 1046, which is on Quincy Street. Right. So it is a flashback to the 50s and 60s, like a dinner, dance. No dinner. It's, no dinner. It's, okay. Uh, it's going to be like snacks and dance. Snacks and dance, because it's 7 to And 11. then a 50-50. Yeah. Okay, so Saturday, August 4th is the date. Yes. Okay. How'd you guys come up with this idea? I think it's great. Well, we needed money for the veterans, you know, to do things for the veterans, because we give them dinner once a month, like I told you, on the first Thursday of the month. And we get some donated. And I was very grateful to Stop and Shop, who donated the Christmas dinner, sent all their help up there to, to serve them. Mm -hmm. And then Johnny Macaroni's mm -hmm. um, also uh, served a dinner. And the Texas Roadhouse is going to do it twice a year. They haven't done it yet, but they're going to do it. And it's just, and we buy them coats. Mm -hmm. We buy them sweatsuits at Christmas, and we have uh, bingo every month. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we do a lot for them, so we have to keep the funds up. And how many veterans usually come by for the dinners and things? Uh, we usually have from 40 to 50. Wow, that's great. Yeah, we have that's a lot. Great. We so have they, a lot. From the VA? Yes. Okay. They come in from the VA. They have their dinner. They have dessert. We make the desserts. Yeah. And um, then they play bingo. Nice. And they win the booklets that they can use at the store, mm -hmm. so we buy them. Okay. So it's really a fundraiser for the veterans. And I would like to say if anybody doesn't, can't come or doesn't want to come, to try and buy a couple tickets and give them to a vet. So the date is Saturday, August 4th. August 4th. So the first Saturday coming up, and we're going to fit this in quite a few times so you okay. can get, we'll run this all the way up till the third. Thank you. So people will know about it and we're going to give you the link so you can put it up on the Facebook page too. Wonderful. Okay, so you'll be the star of stage, screen, and television. Oh wow. Did you know that? No. Okay. I always take pictures with you every year. I when know you, you and, do. When you and Michelle are at the, the right. Veterans Day Parade and the Memorial Day Parade, I'm because my dad was a World War II veteran. He passed away on September 11th last I year know. on what I call Super Patriots Day, because I think September 11th is a day that actually we should have a holiday I on, agree. not to celebrate the bad that went on, right. but the American spirit, right. if you think about it. So right. I was at the 9-11 ceremony, and I came back, and he had a couple hours after that. But he lived a good long life, 90. He was, stationed, he was stationed on the Greek Isles. He was stationed at the Vatican. He was a paratrooper. He was in one of those famous airborne divisions. I don't remember which one. He didn't talk about it. World War II veterans did not no. talk about their service because they did not want it to be about them right. ever. Right. Okay. And you were telling me off camera before we were recording, your brother, unfortunately, My got brother killed. was killed in Korea. Mm -hmm. And not only do um, the whole extended family and the mother and father suffer for the rest of their life, you never Absolutely. forget. Absolutely. You never forget. I remember my mother crying for weeks, and I was a little girl. So, I mean, you know, they never forget. How so old was your brother? Uh, my brother was the first soldier in Brockton to get killed. He was 19. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You're right. It, it lasts with you the yeah. rest of your life. For the life. rest of their life. I'm lucky I had Dad. Dad told some quite, oh, quite the so stories. Lucky. His most solemn moment is he rescued my great uncle, his uncle, out of one of the camps. Oh, nice. In Germany. Nice. He, he, he unfortunately lost his wife and daughter. This is his wedding ring. Oh. It, so you I have... call it my lucky charm. It wasn't his lucky charm. Nobody chose. So it's someday yours. I'll go there and I'll visit. But his, his name was Philip, and my youngest son is named Philip. We named oh, him after him. Oh, nice. But Dad was very proud. Dad never really wanted to get anything back. He didn't take his no. VA benefits till he was 89 years old. Wow. Right in the end. He said, someone needed him more. I said, it doesn't work that way, Dad. No. Every veteran has helped. And folks like you help him. Yes, okay? we try. Because sure. they're, they're at the VA. One of my father's really good friends became a quadriplegic. He fell off a roof, and he was over there for quite a long time. Yeah. 
Uh, I don't, and, and, and uh, he was the strongest man, but he got caught in an accident, and, but he had served proudly, and I heard all of his stories, too. See, I call them my vets because yeah. I feel that we wouldn't be here the way we are now without them. They've all worked, they worked so hard, they fought so hard, so that we're living the way we are living now. We Without them, we wouldn't be. We couldn't vote. No, no. We, we couldn't exercise free speech. Exactly. Uh, and let's hope that the Korean War finally comes to an end now. Exactly, With exactly. the thaw and the relationships that, that have happened. Let's, exactly. Let's cross our fingers and hope that that's gonna happen. But this is a great thing. Summertime, there, there's a lot going on, but sometimes there isn't as much going on. I think right. you picked a good date and well, a good time. Well, this is um, a good thing for the, for the vets. I mean, I think that anyone should really give, call up and get a couple tickets. If you don't want them, if you can't go, give them to a vet. Absolutely. The money goes to them. It's beneficial to them. It gets them food. It gets them coats. It gets some hats, it gets some gloves, and they enjoy it. And the number to call is 508-728-8023, which is Gail's phone number. The Gail. president's number, yes. Okay, and she's the president of the auxiliary. Right. And the auxiliary now, I understand, takes men. We do. John we do. I, you is, want to join? A, I'm going to join. You want to join? Gotta, i got to figure out how to we get do. my board meeting on a different date. We do. Right we should take men. Let's face it. Well, they, they do a lot, too. I mean, they can do as much as we do. Like Why you not? said, all the family is affected. Oh. If you know, e even if you didn't serve and you didn't have someone that served, someone else served for you. It's, but, you know, some nights, and I'm older. Like I said, my brother was killed. I was probably five, four, around there. Um, some nights I sit and I wonder, was he afraid? Was he scared? You know, what happened? You think of those things. And I'm older, so I mean, I shouldn't think of it, but I think of them all the time. Every time I see something time. about a conflict around the world, there are people in harm's way. Exactly, okay? exactly. And, you know, you think about it like since 9-11, you had the police and the firefighters yep. to that mix, you had, you had the medical responders. Exactly. And, you know, I've had a lot of veterans in my classes where I teach at Massasoit, multiple veterans, mm -hmm. and now the firefighters or the police officers, or they're, they're still giving back, exactly. if you really think about exactly. it. And, and it's a proud tradition. They look for military people to right. be in, in jobs because yep. they know that they know how to follow orders and do things effectively. They have a certain decorum about them. And, uh, you know, hopefully they're not, not all terribly, terribly affected by things like PTSD I and know. things that's, like that. Yeah, so, that's another but thing. But you, you're doing a great thing. You've always been a hard worker. Well, thank and we're you. Glad we're to support. I'll always work for the vets. Always. Okay. So we will follow this and uh, maybe we'll find a way to bring a TV camera well, over there that day. thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Mark. Okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.